الله أكبر 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 الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصلى النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر 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 الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا 
من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا وأيضا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وأيضا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أما بعد Today as we celebrate Eid al-Adha we celebrate the remembrance of the sacrifice of Ibrahim alayhi salam and the family of Ibrahim alayhi salam it is difficult for us to find joy because of the situation of the ummah and sometimes we look at it and we think how can we even be happy how can we even celebrate when the ummah, ummah is in this situation but I want to remind you that there is a time for reflection on the struggles of the ummah and there's a time to enjoy the gifts that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us and to celebrate those gifts and today I want to remind you of one concept and that is the idea that whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has planned for us is the best we look at the situation of the Muslims and we look at the our brothers and sisters in Gaza and we see such a horrible situation and we think how can there be any good in this how can people even continue in such a situation when the entire world is against them when oppression is happening and it seems like there's no help in sight for them And I want to take you to a story of sort of Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam. Normally we talk about Ibrahim alayhi salam on this day and we'll come to talk about Ibrahim alayhi salam. But I want to take you to a verse inside Surah Yusuf. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَكَذَلِكَ مَكَّنَّا لَهُ فِي الْأَرْضِ and this is how we established him on the earth. But when was this ayah? When, did, when does this ayah come in the surah? This ayah comes after Yusuf's brothers threw him in the well. After Yusuf was taken out and sold into slavery. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is how we established him on the earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Wallahu ghalibun ala amrih, walakinna aksara nasi la ya'alamun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And Allah has always been in full control of all of his affairs. So when... Yusuf alayhi salam was thrown into the well. 
This was one of the plans of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had something else in store for Yusuf alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had bigger plans for Yusuf that could not come through, come through if he stayed in Palestine. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had bigger plans for him that could not have come through if he didn't become a slave and live in the house of the Aziz. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had bigger plans for him when he was thrown into the, into the prison. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala planned every step of the way so that he can become the minister of finance of Egypt. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala planned it. And I want you to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ghalibun ala amrik. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also fully in control of your affairs and my affairs. Sometimes we might think, I am not in the position that I wish I was. Whether that be financially, whether that be in terms of my job, or whether it's in terms of my education, or my family life, things are just not working out. And we get depressed. But if we understand this concept well, then there's no place in in our lives for depression. When we understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fully in control of our lives. And what happens to us, then we're able to turn this disaster into something amazing. And this is the way of the believers. The Prophet ﷺ told us that the affair of the believers is something unique and something strange. Because anytime something bad happens to him, in his eyes it might be bad or other people's eyes it might be bad. But his person is patient. And this is good for him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a plan. When we're in any difficulty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows exactly what you need so that you can become a better version of yourself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the difficulties and the tests that He must put you through. He knows that for you to get that better job, you need to lose the job that you're in right now. He knows that for you, to come closer to him, you need to lose a family member. You need to go through that divorce. You need to go through that difficulty so that other good things can come into your life. And if we understand this, then we leave our affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We put in the hard work, but we leave our affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do what we can for the people of Gaza, but we know that Allah's plan is better than your plan and my plan and anyone else's plan. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has something good, amazing in store for our brothers and sisters and for the ummah. So even though difficulties are happening, we trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. These are the days of remembering Ibrahim alayhi salam and the struggles that he went through. And one of the things that I want to remind you of today is what it means 
to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the most amazing ayah in the Quran is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِذْ قَالَ لَهُ رَبُّهُ أَسْلِمْ قَالَ أَسْلَمْتُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Ibrahim alayhi salam, submit without any hesitation. Ibrahim alayhi salam said, aslam tu li rabbil alameen. I submit immediately to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Lord of everything. And I want you to understand what that means. When you submit, a person submits, for different reasons. A person might submit out of fear. And the word Islam was used when a, a, a tribe would conquer another tribe and the tribe would give up. This tribe aslamed. They submitted out of fear of what would happen. But there's another reason that you submit. Imagine someone you love dearly. Might be your mom or your dad or your spouse or a friend. And they say something as simple as, I want ice cream. Immediately, you go out and you get ice cream for them. Because of love. And this was the relationship between Ibrahim alayhi salam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A submission out of love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A submission that no matter what was given as a test to Ibrahim, he fulfilled it. Today we sacrifice. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed Ibrahim in his dream that he had a knife to the neck of his son and he was pulling the knife. This was all Ibrahim alayhi salam needed. And he goes to his son and he says, Oh my beloved son, inni ara fil manami anni adbahuk. I see in a dream that I am sacrificing you. What do you say? And young Ismail alayhi salam says ya abba tif'al ma tu'mar oh my beloved father do what you have been commanded to do and so ibrahim alayhi salam goes with his young son and he lays him wa tallahu bil jabin he lays him on his forehead and he puts the knife and he pulls the knife and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says qad saddaqta ar you have fulfilled your vision out of love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, knowing that whatever Allah has commanded us to do is the absolute best thing for us. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to get up for salah, it's not out of fear that we get up to pray. It's not uh, out of like, I have to do it. No, it's out of love that you get to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that you know that this getting up is better for you than anything else. Than any sleep that you can have. This waking up is your meeting with your beloved. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so today, while we sacrifice and while we think about this, think about Submitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the submission of Ibrahim alayhi salam. One of complete love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One which recognizes the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So no matter what he has asked us to do, we submit and we do it. Ibrahim was the one who called us Muslims. Huwa sammakumul muslimina min qabl. He is the one who called us Muslims. We submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no matter what the situation is. And I remind myself and you, we have obligations to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have obligations to the creation 
of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we submit to these obligations because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who loves us more than anything else, and the one who we should love more than anything else, has ordered us to do it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to relieve the situation of our brothers and sisters in Gaza. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to change whatever difficulties and struggles that we're going through and replace it with what is best. Ibadullah, rahimakumullah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd, Eid Mubarak, Taqabullah minna wa minkum.